Hey guys, what's up? It's Bo, and today I'm just going to show you an updated version of both my Cam Studio settings and my Camtasia Studio rendering settings for when I upload to YouTube. Now, um, of course, the first thing is always, 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 always try to uh, either render or record at a 16 by 9 aspect ratio so that it fills out the whole entire um, YouTube screen. Uh, letterboxing is just weird and it doesn't look good. So, I'm going to click on Cam Studio and I'm going to go to Options and I'm going to go to Video Options. Now, the first thing is the compressor. Now, I use Cam Studio Lossless Codec because it keeps the quality but it um, doesn't get the huge file size from it. Um, and that it's a very good compressor and I've al and I've always used it and it's just a good thing to have. I'll put the link to it in the description and everything for you guys so that you guys can download it. It's pretty easy to install. And for the quality, I have that all the way up to 100. It's kind of self-explanatory why that is because you want to get the best quality out of your videos. Um, for configure, the only thing I've changed is level 9 uh, compression and that's it. You don't have to do that. That's completely optional. You don't need to do that at all. Um, and everything else I just left default. Like auto I auto adjusted everything and it works great. I haven't gotten any trouble out of it. Click OK. Um, for cursor options I don't show my cursor mainly because for some reason it's been acting weird and when I press record uh, the little spinning circle I think it means busy um, that will stay like that, I don't know why. Um, but of course, you know, you can show your cursor if you want. I just have it at hide. And you can highlight your cursor if you want. You can select the sizes. Um, but that's not what I do. So, uh, of course, you're going to want to record audio from your microphone if you're talking into a microphone, duh. Or you can record audio from your speakers so that you can play something and record it and the people will be able to hear what's playing on your computer. Now, for audio options, uh, I'm going to go to audio options for microphone. And I've selected, you know, my USB, uh, my microphone. Um, and the recording format is 44.1 and it's 16-bit stereo and compressed format that's PCM at 44.1 16-bit stereo and everything else is just left default click OK uh, for auto pan of course you're gonna want that enabled unless you know you're recording full screen and then you don't need it enabled um, the auto auto pan speed is all the way up at 200 just so I don't have any delay when I move my cursor, it doesn't trail or anything like that, it's just instant. As soon as I move my cursor, then the screen follows it, uh, it doesn't lag at all. And that's pretty much it. Program options, you know, you can do that, whatever you want. I, uh, I have it so that I do capture translucent layered windows just to keep the effect of Windows 7. Um, I hide the flash and rectangle mainly because it can still show up because if you're dragging your cursor then you can still see the green little um, the rectangle left behind like it lagged behind uh, and I do minimize the program just so that you guys don't see the program uh, on my screen when I'm recording um, and everything else is just default I basically keep everything at default um, I do record though at 640 by 360 and that's 16 by 9 and it will fit into the, whoops it will fit into the screen perfectly um, and that's also good I also recommend if you are recording that full screen uh, that you record at your monitors optimal uh, optimal resolution in order to keep it uh, not blurry um, so that will look nice and now for rendering for rendering the video there's not much to it I don't really do that much at all um, as you see, when you click on my videos now, it's not, uh, there's no HD option. And that's mainly because I don't want to stretch it out to 1280 by 720 and, um, stretch out, uh, the text or anything, make it look blurry. I, just, I like it the way it is. I don't really think HD quality is that important, just as long as it's good to begin with. So, uh, there's no HD, there's no 360p, no 40p, just regular quality. And here we go. First thing you're going to want to do is drag in your file, drag it here, and for the dimensions that I render at, 
I do 640 by 360 and I keep the aspect ratio and it looks great. It looks pretty nice for me. It does exactly what I want it to, which is look good. Um, of course, you can edit, uh, edit it any way you want. Edit the audio. doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to go to File and Produce and Share. Now, this is where uh, the important part comes up. You're going to go to Custom Production Settings and you're going to click Next. And you're going to want to do MOV QuickTime Movie Format. Now, if you if you click that and it says you know you don't have QuickTime, just download QuickTime. It's a simple Google search. It'll be the first result. Say download QuickTime, uh, restart the computer, and you'll be good to go. Uh, actually, I don't even think you need to restart. I think it's good to go right off the bat. Just restart Camtasia Studio. All right, so now we're gonna click next. And for QuickTime options, what I have is uh, go to settings. I have at H.264, frame rate at current, uh, keyframes automatic, all this is default. Uh, quality I put at best, and now I'm going to click OK. And now size is another important thing. If you do want the HD uh, setting, if you do want the option for HD 720p, I have mine at ca uh, custom at 640 by 360 so it doesn't change the actual video resolution at all. The recording resolution and the video resolution are the same, that way it looks crisp and it's not stretched out and looks blurry so that's good. Now if you do want the HD option but you sacrifice a little bit of blur, um, then at the bottom you'll see HD 1280 by 720 16 by 9 but I'm not, I don't do that and now I'm gonna click OK and sound settings we'll click on that and I have an MPEG-4 low complexity 44.1 KHZ um, size is 16 bit and the use is for stereo we're gonna click OK and OK and filter I don't change anything with that at all so just keep that the way it is um, now we're gonna click OK we're gonna click next and custom size, as I said earlier, I'm going to render it at 640 by 360. You're going to want to do 1280 by 720 if you selected 1280 by 720 uh, during for the quick time options. Whatever your resolution is for the quick time options, you're going to do it here, uh, like 1280 by 720. But as I said, I don't do that. I do 640 by 360, keeping the quality crisp and clean and nice looking. And I check maintain aspect ratio, and I use instant zoom and pan um, well I guess it doesn't matter anymore because I don't zoom and pan but when I did if I recorded at a separate screen resolution than what it was uh, supposed to be rendered at which would be 1280 by 720 I would zoom and pan at the very beginning of the, of the video so it would stretch out the whole screen and there wouldn't be no letterboxing and that's what I'd do but you don't have to do that Go click next 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 name the file whatever you want click finish it's gonna render and then it's done and then it's ready to upload to YouTube it's that simple those are my updated settings alright those are my updated settings they're all right here and uh, that's pretty much it guys I hope you like it thanks for watching peace